Hi, I'm Ariel Ferranti, director at Belfort Group, and welcome to the BG Insights videocast. In a reversal of roles today, I'm here with Don Martelli, COO of the Belfort Group, who will be talking to us about the BG Newsroom. So Don, please uh, take a chance to let us know a little bit about what is the BG Newsroom. Sure. Well, thank you for uh, uh, filling in my role as the host of the uh, video uh, insights cast here for BG. Um, I'm excited to talk about the newsroom, the BG Newsroom, because it's really, it pulls in our roots as a traditional PR firm, but really adds in all the other elements of which we do for our clients, which is digital marketing, content marketing, creative development, and that entire ecosystem of marketing communication. So what is the BG Newsroom? The BG Newsroom is literally a blending of the new and old media and how brands can tell their story in a way that is contextual, um, adds uh, you know, movement and action around it, and does not rely on traditional media uh, to tell their story. Yes, traditional PR and pitching stories and things of that nature still applies to the BG Newsroom, but we, in essence, become the New York Times or the Boston Globe or CNN for our clients in a very aggressive, content-focused way, but with purpose, making sure that we are producing assets and content that is going to get our client's audience to react and engage. And in some cases, that is to approve um, zoning changes for a real estate development project. It could be to influence students to enroll in particular programs for our higher education clients. In some cases, it could also be for companies to um, you know, hire another company for their services in a B2B professional services environment. So very news focused, very content focused, but it blends the old and the new. That's great. That's great. And can you tell us a bit as well about how, what does the process look like for the BG Newsroom and how do we implement that for our clients? Sure, sure. So when I was a reporter for the Boston Globe back in the late 90s, um, there was a hum to the, to the newsroom, meaning on big news days, the phones are ringing, people are writing copy, making phone calls, kind of gathering stories. And we kind of approach it the same way. Um, so if we're working on behalf of a college and university um, and they are research focused, there's a lot of great news coming out of those institutions. And we kind of treat it the same way as if we were the Globe Newsroom. So we go in and we ask questions of the faculty. What are you working on? What's the research? What's the context of that research? Who should know about this research? Uh, and how does this fit in today's current narrative? Because the news hole is so small between elections, societal unrest, a uh, global pandemic, the news hole is so small these days that brands have to treat themselves as if they were a media entity. And so what we do is we explore those themes and we make sure that we are focused on the right topics and the right stories and the right concepts at the right time to influence those end audiences. And literally how it works is that we and uh, sort of, you know, unleash our team, editorial strategists, you know, digital producers and others to hear what the client wants to communicate to their audiences, then we put some news framework around it. Is this a concept or a story that is so bleeding edge that we can pitch a story to the New York Times? And if the New York Times bites on this and the article runs, what do we do with that copy afterwards? How do we visualize it? How do we add a blog post to the, to the site and push that out to our influence um, audience? How do we leverage it in social media? And we sort of use something in our, in, in the, at BG, you know, it's a mantra, if you will, create once, use many. Because as you know, not one single channel is going to influence somebody to take a particular action. So this BG Newsroom is all about that disbursement of content and ideas through multiple channels in a very aggressive, regular way. But it is news focused. It is content generated. And it's, you know, again, designed to create and evoke action. Perfect. And that's such an important point too. just, you know, I think it's so important with the integrated style and um, approach to our all of our work and all the projects that we work with at, mm. at BG to make sure that we have that integrated lens and that, you know, it's not just the BG newsroom, but it's everything around it and what we do after and continuing to re reinvigorate the process. So that's very important. Um, yeah. Do you have any examples of that you can share with us about how this works and really how we measure success on this? Sure. I mean, how much time do we have? <laughs> um, one recent example, which is uh, more of a feel good story, because I think the world needs it now, uh, is with our client Bright Marine. Um, they are a, um, a veteran focused organization that has created a 
a literal and virtual network for veterans to get all the services that he or she needs uh, to reacclimate to society. That's career training, that's healthcare and housing. Um, this one particular project is called Veteran Housings at Brighton Marine, and it's uh, 25 affordable units for veterans who have been chronically homeless, have dealt with substance abuse issues, and so on and so forth. Um, very public project with the city of Boston and, and their corporate partners, Soldier, Soldier On and others. And the client came to us and said, look, this is going to happen. This is the time frame. How can we promote this to one you know, get veterans to understand there's an opportunity for them to finally own something of their own and call it home and, and get the help that they need. But how do we use this as a way to promote the Brighton Marine mission and our vision? So, you know, and immediately we put the BG newsroom into action and thought that one, you know, affordable housing is a hot topic in Boston in general. Um, veteran service is also a very hot topic. So a combination of those two things creates a, a, a level of news that should get eyeballs, if you will, with local media, because it's a local story. So we pitched an exclusive article and an opportunity with Tim Logan, who's the lead real estate reporter for the Boston Globe. And so Tim bid on it, did a series of interviews, talked to some of the folks that moved in uh, to the location, and we coordinated with him on this exclusive. So when his article ran in the, in the Globe that day, we had a whole slew of other things around it to promote it. So we had social media copy ready to go. We had a blog post that was ready to go for the uh, Brighton Marine website. We also had content that was developed and ready to be sent out to political influencers here in the state of Massachusetts, as well as at the, at the federal delegation level about veteran housing and using this example as a way to showcase the need for more opportunities like this. And finally, we also had creative assets where we, we launched the, um, the, um, the Voices of Bright Marine, which is a, a video cast unlike this, where our client is interviewing people around Bright Marine, veterans, partners. And we conducted one of the um, sessions most recently with a gentleman who now calls Bright Marine home, who has dealt with um, homelessness and uh, alcohol abuse issues. But now he's clean. He's sober. He has a place he calls home. Um, and we told that story through the, the uh, Insights video cast um, for, for Bright Marine, um, Voices of Bright Marine. So it started with that one idea of homelessness, substance abuse issues, affordable housing, a public-private partnership as the kind of the moment in time. And then we built a whole series of content ideas around it, which in essence is the BG Newsroom. And the action there and the, the metrics are one – um, media coverage and impressions and eyeballs on the mission for Bright Marine, but more importantly, inquiries for housing. So now the, the, all the units are basically filled. Um, there's inquiries and there's a waiting list. So there's, there's interest from veterans, but there's now also interest from political leaders that are looking to Bright Marine for insights and intelligence on other related topics that they should know about and carry forward in terms of legislation. So now Brighton Marine is becoming this resource for our political leaders around the important aspects that are impacting veterans' lives. So there's direct goals like getting media coverage, but also these intangible mission-driven things that the BG Newsroom has helped influence. That's great. And thank you for that example. You know, I know a lot of the times with the work that we do, and especially here at BG, we want to make sure that you know, we're very results driven and making sure that we outline what, what our goals are, how do we measure success, and that looks different for every client and every project that we work on. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that example. It's no very important. Um, so what's next for the BG Newsroom, Don? Great question. And frankly, I wish I had a, a definitive answer, but that's the beauty of the BG Newsroom. Um, I think as the media continues to evolve where when I was a reporter, I had a deadline at five o'clock, another deadline at 10 and another at midnight. The news cycle is every second. There's things being reported on via Twitter, via live video feeds. I mean, as we speak in the middle of, if you look at the timestamp of this video, we're on the verge of electing a new president and the numbers aren't, aren't in yet. And we're two days post election. I've got a couple channels, both CNN and Fox and Twitter streams kind of in my face, just kind of see where things are. And I think that's going to continue. I think that there's going to be this, this onslaught of channels and content and uh, the speed to get to market first. And how does that pertain to the BG newsroom? Well, I think we need to be in front of that. I think we also need to operate in that very aggressive, timely, 24-7, 365 manner because um, 
consumers and, and the, I guess the people, our clients are trying to influence are very smart, media savvy types, whether we're focused on your average 18 year old or for an undergrad program or trying to convince a, a United States Senator to consider legislation. There's all these channels at our disposal and it's about how we use them, when we use them, the stories, the stories we create for them. And so what's next? I, honestly, I don't know, which is the beauty of this thing is that it's going to be fluid. It's going to be agile. And frankly, that's how we operate as an agency. You know, we play in very disruptive places for that particular reason, because we're really good in our feet. We're really good, you know, thinking we have an editorial plan today, but in two seconds, something's going to drop that's going to disrupt the entire world in some way, shape, or form, or disrupt our news flow. We have to be able to pivot and pivot so quickly. And I think that's the reason why we you know, have very talented creative designers that can turn around videos and infographics, editorial specialists that can turn around copy very quickly. So what's, what's next is that it's more of the unknown, but we're ready for it. Great. Definitely agreed. Well, this has been great, Don. Thank you very much. Um, appreciate the time. And I appreciate it. For those of you who are interested in learning more about the BG Newsroom or the Belfort Group and the work that we do, feel free to connect with us um, on our website at thebelfortgroup.com, uh, via email at connect at thebelfortgroup.com, or on social media um, at any of our channels at the Belfort Group. And we look forward to hearing from you. Great. Appreciate the time. Thank you, Don.